Welcome back to Dialed In DIY. Today we're leveling up our game with Plastic Bottle Ball, the arcade version. In level one we made a makeshift mini basketball type game and in level two we're going to pick up right where we left off. If you didn't see that video, please look back and that'll help you out getting ready to start this new project. That video is linked in the description below. So, the second step of this process, you're going to actually repeat that first step again and again and again and make several versions of the mini plastic bottle ball cups using different types and sizes of bottles. You can then decorate with multiple colors however you like. I recommend choosing at least two or three. It'll make the game a little more interesting. Hey, if you don't have paint, you can always try colored tape. You can use colored stickers or you can just get some plastic bottles that have different colors to them to begin with. But if you did paint them, you can take those magnets from the inside, stick these against a piece of metal and let them dry by aiming a fan at them and it'll get dry much quicker and help get rid of the smell quicker too. But while you're waiting for them to dry, why not try making a new ball launcher? Hey, as long as we're leveling up our game and our game pieces, we might as well level up that launcher. All you really need is some kind of a tube, a plastic spoon, and a rubber band, and some method to cut notches in the side of the tube itself. I'm using a Dremel tool, but you can actually use some kind of a handsaw or a hacksaw, and it'll work as well. You just want to start small and gradually make it bigger, testing the spoon as you go, until you get the fit you like. So yes, there's a reason we wanted to make that one notch higher than the other one, because as you see, we're going to angle the spoon through so that it kind of levers up to a higher point. As you can see, I kept slowly working my holes a little bigger and a little bigger until the spoon fit through just right. It doesn't have to be a snug fit because that's what the rubber band is going to be for. We just don't want to overdo it all at once. Now let's give that spoon a final test fit to make sure it slides in just like we want it to. And that's just about perfect. And that's how this is going to operate. Before we actually use it though, we're going to take the spoon back out and sand off any rough edges because we don't want it to fray the rubber band that we're going to use to hold the spoon in place. Now all you need to do is wrap that rubber band from side to side a couple times and tighten it at the very end and you're ready to give it a test launch. Let's get back to our game. First thing we're going to need to do is get everything set up and ready to play. So first you need to set up your targets on something metal and get ready to play ball. As you remember from the last video, we showed that you could put this on a whiteboard, a file cabinet, a mini fridge, side of a computer, anything that has metal that you want to use and get ready to play. And this is how we do it. If you made the new launcher, you now have three ways to shoot. You've got the throw. From the last video, you have the lever. And now if you made the new one, you have the catapult. So now we've leveled up all of our materials, let's level up our gameplay also. We're going to continue with the basic scoring where if you get it in a bottom cup it's one point, a top cup it's two points, if you go through a top cup and keep it in a bottom cup it's three points, but now there's some extra scoring options. As you see on the screen, we want to limit the total shots and you're going to get bonus points for all the colors and you have two options for switching up the play. Just remember to come back in the future and level up with Dialed and DIY as we make more versions of Plastic Bottle Ball. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more Dialed in DIY to come.